Yeah, hi there, it's Keith. This is the current uh, user interface that you've got uh, with site to traffic It's, uh, as you can see up here, it's V1, version 1. Uh, what I just wanted to do was just show you quickly uh, the changes to uh, site to traffic to go to version 2. So what we'll do is we pop in the zip file you'll get, uh, you'll get to download, open that up, You'll see that there's a uh, uh, exe file in there. Open that up. You don't even need to unzip it. You just run it, and this will run straight along and straight into very, very quickly, as you can see. And that's done already. So just go out of that. Uh, what you'll need to do is then open up. The, uh, the file, it'll come up and ask you to put your username and password in and once you've done that just go down to exit uh, so I'll just pause this while I put in my username and password and uh, we'll continue once I've done that ok we've done that and I've opened up the new interface um, what you'll see is there's a, there's a big red V2 in the middle of the page so that tells you you've got the new version and also up here V2 so the very first thing is the on the previous one is source files, so we'll see what's changed there. We go in and it's the only change is to site or template number one, site number one. And all we've done there is we've just added, and you'll notice those uh, this this change from being blank to a number of options once we physically put that in. Uh, so all that does is that gives us a number of options to use uh, with the um, with the sites. Again, some of the colours you'll like, some you won't, some you'll use, some you won't. Uh, it just comes down to personal choice. So um, very simple, easy approach to that. Site info hasn't changed, banners and links haven't changed, easeline articles haven't changed, and advanced features haven't changed. We have included a graphic facility you just browse onto your computer, pull a graphic file, making sure that it's no uh, wider than 160 pixels, uh, otherwise it won't fit. And where this goes, it goes up on the right hand side of your website, it'll be above where the menu is, the menu will be down on the right hand side. So this will just go in there just to give you a sort of a slightly different look and feel to the website. And um, you know, we think it's quite good. Privacy page again hasn't changed, contact page hasn't changed, auto submit hasn't changed. Uh, but now we've also got an FTP upload. What this means simply is you can now upload your website after you've created it directly from the software to the internet, up to your host. So in here your FTP host would probably be something like www.mywebsite.com. Notice there's no HTTP colon backslash backslash, it's just www.mywebsitename.com or .net or .biz or .info, whatever it is you've chosen. The username will be the username you put on your cPanel um, or inside your, your hosting account and the password will be the password you've set there. So literally once you've done that, you put the information in there and you're ready to go, you hit connect. Now it will only connect if this information is correct. If it comes up with an issue, it just means something here is not quite right. So once you've done that and you've connected, click upload here and you'll notice inside this box that the thing will start to upload and you'll notice down here that it'll, you'll see a progress bar running along. It'll be um, a nice, nice shade of green. So anyway, that's the FTP function. Very simple, very straightforward. The next one we've got is um, site analysis. Uh, a lot of people like Google Analytics, and a lot of people don't like Google Analytics. Uh, what we've done is we've put the option in there, uh, notice the word optional, for you to be able to do it if you wish. Um, if you're looking to sell sites, it's probably a pretty good idea to put that in, and you can get access to finding your Google Analytics information just by going straight through here. Another one we've put in which is a paid product 
and you can get access and find out more about it by going straight through here is Visitor Spy and what Visitor Spy does is actually videos it's really clever videos the movement on the page that your visitor is, is taking it, it's extraordinary and it's a fabulous tool put together by the Callan brothers so uh, a couple of very clever fellas so if you want to know more about that and get into that um, you can if you're only building one site I, I think it's still free for one site if you want to do more than one it, it becomes a uh, pretty easily leveraged um, ability to build lots of sites and to go with something like Visitor Spy Plus if you're looking to sell the sites later on it's a great tool to be able to uh, tell somebody how good the site's doing. We've also added down here a thing called AdSense Click Lock and what we've found is that uh, there are some unscrupulous people out there who like to go in and kill off your AdSense account so rather than allow them to do that we put a protection in and that protection will limit the number of clicks that any one individual IP can do on your site. It'll just remove the AdSense from effectively from the site and make it unclickable. So it's a very clever piece of um, PHP script and you can enable it or not. Again, uh, this is a very cheap product too, so uh, if you want to have a sticky beak, just go and have a look in here and um, that will uh, that'll be there for you. So that's the new interface. They're the changes we've made. Um, we hope you like them, we think you will. And uh, lovely comments, if, if you'd like to pass on some comments then we'd um, certainly like to hear them, good or bad. Hopefully they're good. Um, but, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. So uh, thanks for looking at the video. Bye for now.